Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Floss, back again with another video. And today, I'm going to help y'all pick the best keyboard case for your iPad Pro. Now, all of these cases you can get online. I'll throw the links up in the description. The prices range from $120 to $350. Bucks. Now, I got five different cases I want to show y'all, so we're going to try to make this quick. Let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes, calm down. All right, here we go. This is the least expensive one. We're gonna start with the Logitech. Now, most of these cases will work on your third and fourth generation iPad. Ones like the Logitech, if you see the small cutout, then if you're using it on your fourth generation, it's gonna cover up your flash. But if you're taking pictures using your iPad, chances are you're gonna to wanna to take the keyboard off anyway, because who's gonna be outside taking pictures like this? Nevertheless, I digress. The Logitech for 120 bucks is the most protective keyboard cover that's on the market. Now there is a downside to this, there's no trackpad. But if you use your Apple Pencil, this case is gonna protect your pencil the most because of the flap. All right, so let me slap it in real quick and show you how it looks. All right, so here's the Logitech installed on an iPad Pro. Now like I said, this is the most protection, especially for your Apple Pencil, because it is flap. When you throw this in your bag, you're not gonna lose the pencil. Now this one charges via USB Type-C. You see you got protection on all of the corners. The back is fully protected. And this one is water resistant. Now once you open it up, this is how it's gonna look. The biggest downside to this one, no trackpad. But the biggest upside beside the protection is this one has some of the brightest lit keys that you're gonna find. Now on a side note, I'm gonna do a separate, uh, at the end of the video, a keyboard brightness test. I just don't wanna keep getting up and turning off all these lights, but I'll show you how it looks. This one is super bright. So if you're working in your bed in the middle of the night, you're gonna see all your keys easily. Take it over to notes. Let's uh, add something real quick. Excellent key travel on this. Nice clicky sounds. No problem with this one. All right, this is one of my favorite keyboards, especially for traveling. Maximum protection, 120 bucks. And on a side note, the battery lasts forever. All right, I charge this up maybe once every other month. Let's keep it moving. All right, so next, let's take a look at the Libra. Now, this one is gonna run you 120 bucks. Now, I got two more keyboards that I haven't used yet, but as of today, this is my favorite keyboard. And this is the one that gets me the most oohs and ahs when I'm using my iPad at night. And that's because of one reason, RGB backlit keys. I repeat, this one has an RGB backlit keyboard. Check this out. Now, most of these cases that are two parts are gonna come with a little flap on the back. You can use it if you want. Personally, I never do. Nice aluminum build, pretty lightweight. On the bottom, you got four rubber stoppers. That's gonna keep it in place. Now check this out, it charges USB Type-C, but you got in and out, in and out. So what does that mean? Plug in your USB Type-C cable, charge up your keyboard, disconnect it. Now when you're on the road, you put your iPad in, you can charge your iPad from the keyboard. So this is like having a portable battery. This is sick. Not to mention, you got a fully functional trackpad and RGB backlit keys. Now you know how I feel about RGB lights, hashtag RGB life, this is sick. And when you're using it at night and anybody walks by, they're gonna see that beautiful RGB keyboard on an iPad, it just looks crazy. Let me show you how it looks. All right, now to slap it on, all you gotta do, put it in place. Now I got the one for the third generation, so if I slap the outer cover on, it's gonna cover up the camera and the flash, actually the, um, the bottom camera and flash, but not a big deal if I wanna take pictures. Look how easy it comes right off. Personally, I don't even use it. I like having the uh, Apple logo show on the back. Now this one you're gonna to have to open with two hands. All right, so once you open it up, fully functional trackpad. Let's take it over to Amazon. Let's go to search. I just got a pop up, sorry about that. All right, here it is, <laughs> my bad. I wanna show you what this looks like. When you type in, let's see, uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 for sale. Scroll with the trackpad. Everything works. This is sick right here. Now when I do the keyboard brightness test in a few minutes, keep your eye on the keyboard, RGB keys. 
This one is dope. Oh, real quick, let me show you what I was talking about as far as charging your iPad. Like I said, this one is just a little bit stiff to open. Let me grab a cable. Now you need USB type C to USB type C cable. So I'm gonna plug one end into out and the other end into my iPad Pro. And there it is. Now, of course, if you want to, <laughs> you don't need to have your cable looking all long like this, get a little rubber band or something and tie it up. When you're outside in the park and using your iPad, you can keep it charged up from the keyboard. How sick is this? This is the Libra, 120 bucks. Let's keep it moving. All right, so next up, we got the Apple Smart Keyboard. Now this one is gonna run you 200 bucks. This is actually my least favorite keyboard for three reasons. Number one, there's no trackpad. Number two, the keys feel soft and mushy. And number three, now this is the deal breaker for me, no backlit keys. So if you're trying to use this in the middle of the night and it's dark and you got your iPad brightness down and you're a typing noob like me that you need to see the uh, light on the keys, this is basically unusable at night. So like I said, this is my least favorite. The two upsides to this is that there's no battery necessary because it uses the uh, iPad's battery. And this is also the thinnest and lightest keyboard case out. Check this out. Basically adds no extra thickness. And like I said, since it doesn't have a battery, you can use this forever. <laughs> but the one thing about this, the keys just feel, they just, it just feels mushy. It doesn't have a good click to it. it doesn't have excellent key travel. You know what I'm saying? This one, <laughs> I know. This one just, I just don't like this one. For 200 bucks, I don't like it. This one should have been 100 bucks. Should have actually came free with your iPad. Super thin and lightweight. And if you got your Apple Pencil, easy access to it. I just don't like it. You got two different viewing angles. You got like this, or you can bring it in a little bit closer. But no backlit keys and no trackpad for 200 bucks. This is a no-go for me. Now, if you're somebody that types professionally and you don't have to look at the keys, then yeah, you might like this one. Not to mention, it's water resistant. All right, so this is the one for having at the bar. Drop a Hennessy on here, wipe it off, keep it pushing. It's pretty good for some people. Just not for me. Anyway, Apple Smart Keyboard, 200 bucks. Let's keep it moving. All right, so next up, we got the bridge. Now this one is gonna run you 230 bucks. Now on a side note, if you watch my channel, y'all remember I reviewed the last bridge keyboard? That one was sick, but this one is even better because now it has a trackpad. All right, let's go through the features real quick. You got an integrated trackpad, unlimited viewing angles, adjustable backlit keys, Bluetooth connectivity, iPad OS compatible, three month battery life, which I can concur because on my old bridge keyboard, I never charged it. You got a durable aluminum body and a one year limited hardware guarantee. All right, so let's check this one out real quick. Now, I never used this new one, so let's go through this together. You guys, let's see, you got your on-screen keyboard uh, button, uh, screen brightness, backlit keys, quick lock, home, Siri, input language, player controls, volume, Bluetooth, and power. All right, this one seems pretty sick. Okay, so right out of the box, I can see the backlit keys already. Aluminium frame, four rubber stoppers on the bottom. Ooh, this trackpad feels nice and clicky. Okay, I like that. Got your Brig Troll stickers. <laughs> All right, do your thing. Usual books and shit, plug them and follow them. And this one has, like I said, when you buy these two-part style cases, a little flat for the back. All right, so let me grab my iPad and we'll set this one up. All right, so this is what it's gonna look like installed on your iPad. There's your rubber stoppers on the bottom. That's gonna keep it in place. This one charges USB Type-C. Adds a little bit of extra weight to it. Like I said, if you want to, you can have the flap on or off for the back. You're gonna need two hands to open this one up. All right, let's check the uh, trackpad. All right, the trackpad works. All right, that's the swipe gestures. Let's check the buttons. All right, so you got your backlit keys. Got your screen brightness, on-screen keyboard. Got your music controls. Got your volume up and down, Bluetooth and power. 
All right, so let's go over to uh, Amazon real quick. Let's search for something. Now, how about a uh, Apple iPhone 11? Okay, 700 bucks. Peasant phone still out there rocking. Okay, trackpad works. This one is dope. I, I I can see myself using this one. Let's do the backlit keyboard test in a second. But in the meantime, yeah, this one is pretty dope. Uh, you can use your down arrows to scroll if you want to scroll slow, or you can use your trackpad and scroll super fast. All right, so this is the bridge. 230 bucks. Let's keep it moving. All right, so last up, we got the Apple Magic Keyboard. Now, this is supposed to be the Coupe de Gras. I, did I say that right? The PS de Resistance. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, this is the big boy. This is the most expensive one. This is going to run you 350 bucks. Now, this one has a backlit keyboard. You got a trackpad and pass-through charging. All right, so let's open this one up for the first time together. Let's see what it is. Now, this one should have the best presentation. After all, it is Apple. Let's see. Okay. So inside, I know. <laughs> inside is going to be your magic keyboard. Okay. Now, all right, hold on a second. Let me not break it. Now, is that old? Is that as far as it goes? Okay. That might be as far as it goes. It feels like the smart keyboard, but a little heavier. Oh, now this one has real, real key travel, real clicky feel to it. Matter of fact, let's uh, slap the uh, iPad on real quick. Now this one, again, should be pass-through charging. Let's see, USB Type-C on the side. There it is. Okay, let me put my code in real quick. Let's check this one out. Okay, now th this one so far, it seems like it has the best trackpad. Oh, you could click anywhere on the trackpad. Oh, highlighting is good on this one too. Wait a minute, I think I think this might be my new favorite keyboard. Hold on, let's uh, let's go back. Let's go to search real quick. Ah, uh, let's see what phone we got next. So, how about the uh, LG V60, one of the sleeper phones? Okay, LG V60, seven hundred bucks. Bro, seven hundred bucks for the LG V60 and seven hundred bucks for an iPhone 11. Get the V60. Trust me. Basically, the scrolling feels good on this. Let's type some more. Uh, speaking case. Okay. Oh, this one is nice. All right, this one is nice. Let's see the viewing angles on this one. If you notice, magic. All right, this is magic. <laughs> That's the magic part. You see how my finger is going underneath without touching? That's the magic part. Let's see now. As far as viewing angles... That might be it. It doesn't. It doesn't seem. It doesn't go all the way flat back. All right. It locks right here. And then you could tilt it right here, or you could tilt it right here. Tilt it like this, and that's pretty much it. Has a soft matte feel to it. Minimum fingerprints. Nice Apple logo on the back. All your cutouts on deck. Let me see now. Can you open this one with one hand? Let's see. No. This is a. This is definitely a two hand opener. But I like this uh, viewing angle. All right, the iPad is right in your mouth. Yeah, I like this one. All right, I like this one. Most importantly, though, let's see how the uh, backlit keys are going to work. But if you notice also, okay, wait a minute. There's no hot keys. Mm, I don't like that. No hot keys. So this way, if I want to turn up the uh, keyboard brightness, I'm going to have to go to settings. All right, so we'll figure this out in a second. Let's, matter of fact, let's do the keyboard brightness test right now. All right, now on the side note, if you want to change the brightness on your Magic Keyboard, go to Settings, Keyboards, and Keyboard Brightness, and you got a slider right here. So for this test, we're going to put it on maximum brightness. All right, so first we're going to start with the Logitech. Now for this test, I'm sitting in complete darkness with my iPad screen on minimum brightness. Here we go. Check that out. Now like I said, this is one of the brightest keyboards. You actually have different brightness settings. So this is max brightness. Look how bright that is. There's no way you can not see this in the middle of the night. So the Logitech brightness is A1. Let's keep it moving. All right, next up, we got the Libra. Now, like I said, this is my favorite one. 
You got three different levels of brightness. One, two, three. This is max brightness. But if you notice, this is RGB. Now watch this. You can change the different formats of the RGBs. So if you want, you can have green in the middle, purple on the left, yellow on the right. You have purple on the right. You can have more like all blue. You can have red, blue, and green. Green, red, blue. Blue, green, red. And again, it's hard to see on video, but this one is so sick. RGB lights. So when you're typing in the middle of the night, somebody walks past, they're gonna see those RGB lights. You're gonna look like a boss. Let's keep it moving. All right, so next we got the bridge keyboard. Now this one has three different levels of brightness. Here's one, two, three. Check this one out. Look how bright this is. This is beautiful. You're definitely gonna be able to type in the middle of the night or like I am right now in complete darkness. All right, so the bridge brightness is A1. All right, so last up, we got the Apple Magic Keyboard. Now check this one out. I thought for sure the Logitech was gonna have the brightest one, but this one is just as bright as the Logitech. Look how beautiful that looks. Now I went to settings and put the keyboard on max brightness. This one is perfect. So this and the Logitech have the two brightest keyboards. Let's wrap this up. All right, so now let me rate these. Number one on my list is still the Libra. I love the aluminum build. I love the way the keyboard feels. RGB backlit keys, full trackpad, and you can charge your iPad from the keyboard. So this is like having a portable battery. Number two on my list, the Apple Magic Keyboard. Now I love the way this one looks. I love the way it feels. The backlit keys are super bright. The trackpad works beautifully. I love that you can click it from anywhere. This one is a go. Number three on my list, the bridge. Again, I'm in love with the aluminum build. Love the trackpad. The keys are super bright. This one is dope. Number four on my list, the Logitech. This one is gonna give you the most protection. So when I'm traveling, chances are I'm gonna use this one so I don't lose my uh, Apple Pencil. And the keyboard is mad bright. There's just no trackpad. Battery lasts forever. And my least favorite of all, is the Apple Smart Keyboard. Now, like I said, this is the thinnest and lightest one, no battery necessary, but no trackpad and no backlit keys. Not really feeling it. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google Plus. Shout out to all the Google Gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hit me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Spock one to beam up. Energize. <laughs>